Hello, I'm Marcus. I'm a volunteer and a member of the Board of Directors of Net Literacy. And today, I'm going to take you on a virtual journey of my school, New Tech High. And I'm going to show you what we have done over the years. So let's go. We have gone from talking in seminars to now putting our words into actions and bringing our ideas to life. And here are just a few things that we have done. We refurbished computers for the community. We even had some program at our school. We did PSAs for Bright House, and we even had a privilege to make our own flash drive. First, let's talk about refurbishing the computers for the community. We usually had a group of students stay after school one day of the week, and we usually got around five or six computers done. And we enjoyed ourselves by associating them with our friends and even eating a pizza. So we enjoyed ourselves as we was helping the community out by lending computers to the people who needed them at our school. On all the computers, we put Windows XP, which is the most common processor for kids to do their schoolwork. With the help of Net Literacy, student volunteers here at New Tech have helped to repurpose nearly 200 personal computers over the last two years. I myself uh, went to conferences to speak to parents about computer security and internet awareness to make sure their children are not um, victims of computer predators. Over the summer there was a student-led orientation to incoming freshmen in the New Tech High about internet safety and I was one of them. We were able to help our incoming freshmen in New Tech learn about different things on the internet, which some were viruses, spam, um, net predators, cyberbullying, and what you say may be forever, and things of that sort. So we wanted to inform them, inform them about what not to do and what to do. We were also given the privilege to work with Bright House to develop interesting but informative public service announcements. Here's one of them. Hi, I'm Amber. I'm a junior and a net literacy volunteer. Teens that use their cell phones or computer to send embarrassing or explicit pictures are giving everyone they date or flirt with the ultimate revenge. If you're in a relationship that ends badly and the embarrassing pictures are emailed or posted online, then you'll be the real loser. Emailing or posting explicit pictures can even be a crime. Be smart online, because sometimes pictures don't lie. For more information, visit us at safeconnects.org. We also got to customize our own flash drive, giving all participating families of net literacy a bracelet flash drive with the safety PowerPoint. I learned about computers. I learned a lot. I learned about installing hardware, fixing my computer, removing viruses. Net literacy is a great program. I would encourage anybody to. Thank you. Net Literacy has helped me learn more about computers. Um, Net Literacy was introduced to me my freshman year. Um, I'm currently a junior. What we do there is uh, we refurbish computers, um, uh, mostly desktops, and we get them ready so they can be shipped out to other elementary schools, um, libraries, computer labs, just anybody who's in need of a computer. Um, it's a great learning experience. It's a great way to get some community service hours in. Um, yes. Yeah, um, Net literacy had um, like a little conference and came, and the teacher selected a select few students, and I was one of the students, and they came had a little conference with all the students, and that's how I got involved. Really, the real reason was because they said they were going to give us pizza, and I like food. Yeah, I feel like I I learned how to refurbish computers and how to help other people.